morning everybody today we're gonna discuss uh, towers so these are only the towers that I have been to around the world on this video we're gonna talk how tall is the tower and then we're gonna talk about how much it costs to get inside the tower and how it look and my experiences in the tower of course I want to talk about which tower is my favorite if you have not subscribed yet on my channel don't forget to subscribe okay please so among the seven towers which one is the tallest the number one among the seven is the CN Tower in Toronto and the height is 1815 feet the second one is One World Center in New York. The height is 1,776 feet. Number three is Petronas Tower in Malaysia. The height is 1,483 feet. Number four is Willis Tower in Chicago. And the height is 1,451 feet. Number five is Tokyo Tower in Japan. The height is 1,092 feet. Number six is Namsan Seoul Tower in South Korea. The height is 774 feet. Number seven is Space Needle in Washington. The height is 605 feet. Now let's talk how much it costs to get in the tower. The most expensive tower is the CN Tower. It costs 53 Canadian dollar, which is $39 in the US. Next one is One World Center, which costs $35. Number three is Space Needle, which costs $32. Number four is Willis Tower, which cost $24. Number five is Petronas Tower, which cost 80 Malaysian ringgit, or it's $19. Number six is Seoul Tower, which cost 10,000 won, or about $8. The last one is Tokyo Tower, which cost 900 yen, or about eight dollars and now let's talk about which one looks nice and this is only based on my opinion the first one I like is Petronas Tower maybe because it has a twin tower the second one I like is the One World Observatory when you go on a boat tour this tower stands out next is the CN tower look at that it's so nice isn't it next I like is the Tokyo tower because of the color it's red next is the Namsan Seoul tower it is tiny but at night this tower really looks nice because of the light. Next is the Space Needle and this is how it looks. The last one is the Willis Tower. And this is the view from Petronas Twin Tower. And this is in New York. And this is from Tokyo Tower. This one is Space Needle. This is Seoul Tower. And I don't have a view from Willis Tower because of the weather. And also I don't have any view from the CN Tower I did not go up because of the time and 
I'm so excited to share to you guys what's my best experience in the tower. And Tokyo Tower is my number one best experience. And you know why this is my best one? Because it's also my first solo travel on my birthday. And I really have a great time there with my friends. Shout out to all my friends in Japan that took me there in Tokyo Tower. I really appreciate it and this is a great memory that I'll never forget. The second best experience I had was when I was in Petronas Twin Tower. Bring Zita Jones and Sean Connery to the middle of the sky bridge. Hmm. You gotta see it again. After Tom Cruise seen this movie, he also want to come up with Thor Berlin, Mission Impossible Part 4, Burj Khalifa. Mission Impossible Part 5, the beginning of the movie, the black guy to the TV tower of us. So you gotta watch again. <laughs> Thor Berlin, yeah? That's probably the reason why I like this experience is because there was a movie here, Mission Impossible. The only thing I don't like in Petronas Tower is there is a time limit. Next was my recent trip in Namsam Seoul Tower and I absolutely love the love locks before you get to the Namsam Seoul Tower and of course what amazing view from the bathroom so I'm going to the restroom and look at that view and next is the One World Observatory we invite you to enter One World Observatory through the doors on your right where a spectacular 360 degree view of the city awaits directly below you. Right here. This is the world's first virtual tour guide on an iPad. This guide is designed to move with you as you're walking around. I really had a great time here in One World Observatory. This was the second tower I had been to. Also, it was my birthday and happened in New York City and of course this is the tallest tower in the USA including Korean and Hindi now this is a rental for $15 that's one five all you need is one next we're gonna talk which one is my favorite well I don't really have favorites but these four towers have special place in my heart because it happened during my birthday Tokyo Tower in 2014 Willis Tower in 2016 by the way Willis Tower is the second tallest tower in the USA One World Center in New York that was in 2017 and Namsan Seoul Tower in 2019 Thank you everybody for watching my videos that's it hope you like this and give it a thumbs up and like it goodbye